Anyway, it's Tim Jones. Don't forget to tune in Sunday evenings at 10. Stocks and drums. Am I trying to get a girlfriend? Yeah, I thought I saw it over, 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 over you, man. You had your legs all out, man. I had what? Your legs. You got stress on trying to show your legs. You are a, you are a strange cat. No, I'm a dog, not a cat. The girls are cats. The <laughs> are dogs. Okay, thanks for the correction. Um, Did you have anything else you wanted to talk about besides my beautiful legs uh yeah um the thunderstorms today ruined my picnic when it rained i tried to barbecue and i couldn't ah i'm sorry about that hey while i have you on the line um i don't know if you've looked at the topic for tonight but um yeah pizza delivery if i came to your house with a pizza would you tip me? Of course. Good. It, that, that's customary, ain't it? Ah, uh, it's customary for some, not not everyone. Yeah, it should be customary. I mean, uh, unless the pizza is cold or something or nasty, then you shouldn't have to tip. But yeah, you bring a pizza, man, you should tip the, tip the driver. You try to earn a living here. Yeah. It's refreshing, you know. That's right. Well, you must, you must, you must be a pizza driver too, on the side. Well, well, yeah. Okay. Well, all right. Uh, what do you like on your pizza when you order your pizza? I'm sorry. Do you like eating pizza? Do I like eating pizza? Yeah. Um, yeah, I eat it almost every day out of necessity, really. Oh, uh, deep dish or thin crust? Thin. Thin. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with the thin. Uh, you like anchovies on your pizza, or just? Just Please. Pepperoni, just regular Don't pepperoni. insult me now. Okay. All right. Okay. Mm. Next caller. Hey, wow. So 
One hello? caller and one caller that would tip. Uh, hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Uh, my name is Rick, and I just, I love your hair. I love your hair. <laughs> you love my hair? Yeah. Well, uh, thanks for that. Um, yeah. <laughs> is there anything regarding the topic you would like to talk about? Yeah, how did you become a pizza delivery guy? How did I? How did I become a pizza delivery guy? Yeah. By not making any uh, money in music for decades. Uh, all right, thank you. Thank you. I meant to ask if you would tip hey, me. Hey, hey, I'm a pizza delivery guy. My name's Fat Joe, and I get tired of getting robbed. I be delivering the pizza in the little gangbangers on the corner, be taking my pizza and my little change I have. <laughs> have you ever experienced that? Um, I know some people who have. You know, I'm Fat Joe. Sometimes I eat the pizza while I'm delivering, and I deliver eating pizza. You don't do that. Yeah, I'm fat. I, I be on some fat shit. Thanks for calling. What's the best pizza? Do you like the home run in? The what? The I could listen to this all night. Hello? Hi. I can't believe this is an actual show. It's not. Don't worry. I can't believe you're an actual person. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Yeah, this is the this is the dude. Oh my god. Sounds like you don't your safety album. Next caller maybe? How you doing tonight? You sound a little tentative. You sound a little tentative. What? You sound a little tentative. You sound a little tentative. Oh. I mean, you sound nice. I mean, you sound nice. <laughs> oh, hi. Hi. Can I ask you a question? Hello? Can I ask her a question? Can you hear me? Yes. I have a question. I had a question. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. No, when it's okay. You, when you ever deliver you ever deliver to a pizza to a house where the lady was naked at the door? Funny you should mention that. Um my last delivery like three nights ago, um I delivered to this she must have been at least eighty, maybe close to eighty five. And uh, she opened the door and she said, close your eyes. I'm not wearing any clothes. Man. It was hot. I mean, maybe. I had my eyes closed. Time. I hope I've answered everyone's questions tonight. Oh, I had a question. If I came to the door with a pizza that you had ordered, would you tip me? Absolutely. Are you the same person that called before that said absolutely? No, I'm Eric. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> you couldn't be the same person. No. Um, if you're Eric. Yeah. Wait, are you the Eric I know? Yeah, I'm the Eric you know. Well, then get the fuck off the phone. I'm, I'm sorry. Hello. 
Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm doing surprisingly well. <laughs> That's good. I was wondering what the best not money tip you've received is. <laughs> <laughs> um that's really tempting, but um, I'm going to save that for a few minutes from now, maybe. Why? It's good television. Oh, this is then? Hey, if I um, came to your house with a pizza, would you tip me? Probably. I don't order pizza ever, but... Only a probably, so you don't, you don't always tip the no, pizza. No, I always tip, but I'd never order pizza catch that's the catch i suppose hmm well, you're not going to tell me what you the tip no <laughs> i enjoyed the question oh. i don't enjoy the the non answer <laughs> well this relationship is breaking down rather quickly isn't it i suppose it is I'm sorry. Well, stay tuned and maybe you'll answer. Future? The future doesn't exist. Ooh. <laughs> Good night. Look, holes. Hello? Hi. Um, <clears throat> when you say pizza delivery tips, <laughs> You're uh, you're talking about the money, or you want some suggestions? I have a. <laughs> That's funny. I used to deliver pizza. I'm always skeptical when people say that. No, I did. You know why I'm skeptical? No. Because I think I'm the only pizza delivery person ever. You've been very busy. Thanks. Busy not getting tipped. That sucks. Yeah, it does. Oh, uh, I hate when Hello? they start talking into a Nerf ball. Hey. Hello. Hey, big bucket. Hey, you got a bugger in your nose. Probably. That's where it belongs, right? Hello. Hey. Hey. How's it going? How's it going? I I have a. Ask me the question, uh, would I tip you if you would deliver a pizza to my home? Would you tip me if I delivered a pizza to your home? Of course I would, and guess what the tip would be? Stop delivering pizzas. No. Was I close? Did the producer already cut you off because he knew what you were going to say? No, and it wasn't going to be funny. I'm just trying to figure out if, if is this show a, a, a joke? Is, is this, did you just is ask this, if this show was a show? A joke. A or joke? Is, 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 I just turned on the television. What makes you think it's a joke? I mean, I just turned it on and... It if you, um, you know, worked at a job and didn't get paid for it, would you think it was a joke? No. I'm sorry. Bye-bye. Hello, I got a question for you. Sounds like you have a cough. Yeah, yeah, I have a little cold, but um, you, should, you might have a cold because you got all them big old holes up under your armpit. Hey, everybody, give him a tip when he comes to your door. You need to buy a new T-shirt. That's right. Okay. Are you cold? Burr. Up on your arm. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> I'm afraid of jokes. Hey, what's up, man? What's going on? So the, does the delivery fee go to you or the pizza place? It goes to me. So should we tip you on top of that? Yes. 
So five plus five. Well, I mean, do the math. Um, it's two dollars and fifty cents for the delivery fee, and we're traveling maybe, say, you know, four miles on one delivery. Um, you know, you're you tend to be gone for maybe a half an hour or an hour. You're spending gas money. Um, Two fifty isn't really very much, is it? I always tip five dollars. Do you? Yeah, just at least five. Well, that's that's really good. You are not part of the problem. Unless you forget my second two liter of Coke, in which case I get a little angry. Well, see, that's justified. If if the driver fucks up, you know, that's one thing. But let's face it, the driver doesn't fuck up 99.7% of the time, right? See, I live in Little Village, and I always have the problem of getting these horrible drivers that most of the time don't even speak English. I don't think it's a prerequisite to speak English to get your food there, though, right? Well, not really, but, I, you know, I like to be able to communicate. Well, you're doing a heck of a job. Hello? Hi. What's good? I don't know what's up. How are you at? You know. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Did you want to ask me something? Hello. Hi. You kind of cut out there. You'll have to repeat that. I said, "How you doing?" Oh, uh, I'm doing. Um, I'm doing well. <laughs> hey, what piece of cup are you deliver for? Ooh, you know, I thought someone would have asked that a lot earlier on. Um, we're not allowed to endorse anything on this show, so don't take this as an endorsement. It's just a fact. Okay. Did she hang up? Did you hang up on her, Fred? Because I'm not going to answer the question if the person's no longer there. Hello? Did everyone go away? What See my number. happened to all my friends? Yeah, yeah, I'm your friend. Okay. I, I, I just want to let you know uh, I dig your shirt. It says Chicago, right? Can you stand up and show me your shirt? Ooh, Chicago Bear. You as a Bear fan? Like a big ass beer, get up on your arms and pull your shirt up. Oh, hi. Hi. Now I know there's a bunch of weirdos calling you tonight. Hi, those weirdos, what can we do about them? Okay, well I'm reading here, State of the Economy and Pizza Delivery Tips. You are so reading. Your, your question, you're trying to find out whether or not someone would tip you if you were a pizza delivery guy because of the state of the economy, we don't have tips to give, or what are you trying to say? Oh, well, um... <laughs> I would definitely tip you, though. I, I'm a pizza delivery guy myself, so I would love, I would tip you, and I would be... I would hope that someone would tip me as well. Well, not I'm, su I'm surprised at the percentage of people who have called that say they would tip because so far the percentage is 100. Well, that's great. And that's, so that's, the state of the economy is not as bad as we may think because people will still tip. Well, they'll still say they'll tip, but um, 
reality is another matter, isn't it? Um, yeah, well, I mean, what, what are you saying? They'll say their tip. We won't know if they're tip until we get there with the pizza and see if they're tip or not. Yeah, yeah. and I can assure you in the last few weeks I've been uh, untipped. Oh, several well, times. Well, that, that's unfortunate for you. I'm, I'm actually a piece of delivery. Can I say the, say the name of the place that I, or no, I can't say. Oh, you can say it. I, I mean, in theory. Okay, well, I'm sorry if I, I'm sorry, but I've been getting great tips. Oh. And people have actually been tipping, and I've, they've been tipping. I mean, so I, I don't know if you're saying they won't tip because of the state of the economy, but because because I don't think that, I guess, the people that I've been delivering to, they ain't, they ain't too much worried about the economy because they tipping. And I'm getting great tips. Yeah, well, I actually got really good tips last night. Um, I guess I'm coming at it from more of a selfish point of view. I, um, the state of the economy, for me, is okay. really bad. Okay, well, uh, you know what? It, you know what? That it's, it's, not the, it's not the greatest. It's not the greatest, but... Um, I'm, I'm just saying, in spite of it not being as great as it could be, people are still, people are still tipping, and they, they're, they're coming. They, they, I mean, one just the other night, I got a ten dollar tip. Uh, night before, I had a fifteen dollar tip. So, I mean, <laughs> you're making me a little envious. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I mean, it, it's happening. I mean. People are not just, I'm actually flipping through the channel when I saw the state of the economy and it's saying piece of the delivery tips. So I'm like, okay, this guy must be asking whether or not people are tipping because of the economy is not as great or what. So I'm, I'm kind of, I'm just calling in to say, you know, well, they are tipping. Yeah, well, I, I have to agree with you, actually. I, I don't think the economy has really changed anything in that regard. Um, I think most people know what they're going to tip, you know, before they wake up in the morning. Yeah. And I, but I think there are certain people who tip and certain people who don't. And I'm, I guess what I'm really wondering is uh, the philosophy behind people who don't tip. Because I think if you can afford 35 or $40 for a pizza, right. chances are you can afford 2 or 3 or 4 dollars for a tip right well you know what I, I don't think it really has anything to do with i i, I think it's a little I, I i call those the tight the tight customers i mean that's what i call them the tight customers and, I, and it's the <laughs> reason why i would say that I, I think that you know um a lot of them won't tip because i think they're thinking about the piece of delivery man as just that a piece of delivery guy and um a lot of times, you you if you think on the terms, if you think of a piece of delivery guy as just a piece of delivery guy, you you tend to not, you tend to the the to take him for granted, or you you tend to just take what he does or who he is, and you're well whatever he's just a piece of delivery guy. It, it's kind of kind of it's kind of saying you know that take, sounds pretty sad. It, it's kind of it's kind of sad, but that would be the reason why I would think people are not tipping as opposed to saying they're not tipping because the economy is bad. I, you know? I agree with you 100%. Yeah, I mean, but you, you have these tight customers. Tight. And, and they, they, are, they are so tight. You make it sound like a good thing. Well, I mean, it's, it's cool. I mean, it, it's cool. I mean, they tip. If, if they tip, and they, they tip. And if they don't, they don't. But the thing is, the thing is, you got to, you, you know, I, I can't get upset or... But I gotta try and understand why may, why they may not be tipping. Yeah, it, it, no, I don't it, get upset either. But I, you know, since since we have the show, and we should probably get to. You, I mean, since you're obviously not the culprit, we should get to some other folks. But um, I just, you know, since we do have this thirty minutes, I just want to try to get inside the heads of people who don't tip, and I want to find out why they don't. Okay, I don't tip. Hi. Hi. Would you tip me if I delivered a pizza to you? No. No. Well, I appreciate your honesty. And why wouldn't you? Well, I don't really tip. And I have a question. Okay. Well, have you ever went delivered to a house and the lady or male, instead of tipping you with money, they tried to tip you with something else, something different? 
That sounds similar to a call from about 15 minutes ago. And I'll, I'll save that for the end of the show. But um, can I ask you another question? Sure. Why don't you tip people? Well, it all depends on, like, how early you get there, if you get there with my pizza on time, because I be hungry. I'm not fat, but I'm, I'm skinny. I'm really slim. I just eat a lot. I'm slim, too, and I'm hungry. So I'm with you. But, um, You're not as slim as me. Oh, really? Nope. How, uh, how slim are you? Really slim. I'm like, I weigh 105, but I'm really skinny. I have really fast metabolism. How tall so, are you? I'm like 5'6". Yeah, that, I would call that too thin. I'm not too thin. I eat a lot. I'm not too thin. Well, your metabolism is too fast. I agree. Um, so back to this tipping thing. Um, so you know that pizza places can be very busy sometimes. There's a lot of factors as to why someone may not be there in like a mere 20 minutes or something. Like when I, do, like when I go pick it up, when I go pick up my pizza, it'll be like hundreds of people in one spot. And why are they just moving in a slow, a slow pace? I didn't catch the first part of that. There's a hundred people, what? Well, not a hundred people. There would be a lot of people uh, working, and they wouldn't give me my pizza on time. I'd be hungry. So even when you pick it up, there's that issue of you being hungry. Yeah, because well, you're just, you're just they don't give me hungry. my pizza on time. I'd be wanting it. I'd be hungry. But I still, I mean, I don't want to tell you your business too much, but I think you should tip people. Why? Because they're doing you a service, and you like the fact that people deliver to you, right? Like, you, you want yeah, them... Yeah, I don't be feeling like you're nuts. You want people to be able to earn a living that are doing this work, right? They earn a living, they got a job. But the, <laughs> the job is to deliver pizzas to people who hopefully tip. But either way it goes, they still get paid, right? Not really. I don't know if you were listening earlier, but we get $2.50 for each delivery. That's not too much, really. So if we don't get tipped... That's enough for some McDonald's. <laughs> huh. <laughs> well, folks, this has been another episode of the state of the economy. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope what we all can agree on that we've learned tonight is um, it's a good idea to tip the driver. Tip the pizza driver, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for stopping. Yeah. Before you get up, say, uh, <clears throat> say, hi, this is Tim Jones. Join me every Sunday night for the next edition of Stocks and Drums. <laughs> the what? The what?